right so in the previous uh, chapter we have discussed about uh, how to add list in latex and now let's see how we can add uh, images and other figures uh, to your latex document so i will again create a new chapter uh, maybe i will name this as figures right so in order to add figures uh, i have downloaded these two images right so these are in jpg format so you can use uh, maybe png or jpeg or any other uh, image format right so i will simply grab these images and go to my project directory and uh, let's create a new folder call uh maybe let's say IMGS. So this is stand for images. And I will paste my images over here. So all the images uh, the in my uh, all the images that I'm going to use in my document, I will store inside this file, right? So it will be more organized. Otherwise, if I simply put all the images and all the uh, figures and other stuff inside this root directory, what happened is that it it is not quite organized right so whenever uh, later on if you want to, to change a specific image then you will feel uh, some difficulty of finding out that uh, specific image right so instead of that uh, if if you follow this sort of hierarchical fashion it will be much more organized uh, and it will be more clean right so before add images to your uh, document uh, you have to use a specific package as well uh, so it is basically uh, uh, the graphics x package so yeah so let's add that package as well um, yeah so the package is basically use package and at least uh, graphics x gra pick x right so this is a, a package uh, provided by latex to import images and other uh, graphical uh, matrices to your uh, document so uh, once I specify that use package uh, command here uh, you have to explicitly specify uh, the location where the images are located as well because currently uh, we are storing our images inside this specific directory right imgs directory so you have to tell latex to use this directory to obtain any necessary graphic related uh, artifacts so you have to specify it as graphics path and curly bracket and inside again two curly brackets and you have to specify the path as imgs right now the path has been specified uh, so hopefully now you will be able to import your image to your document so in order to import specific graphic image to the document you can use uh, uh, this command it's it is but uh, it is uh, include graphics right so you can specify then an scale as well so i will keep it as one and uh, this is the image name that you want right so let's say if i'm going to use this uh, sample image one i can copy the name and paste it over here and let's compile it and make sure whenever you uh, import and compile your uh, import a package and compiling your latex document uh, make sure to connect to the internet because sometimes it download uh, the necessary dependencies via internet as well so make sure whenever you uh, compiling your document after uh, including these sort of uh, 
external packages uh, to have a um, stable internet connection as well right otherwise sometimes sometimes your compiling may fail but anyway now you can see that uh, the image has been added so you can scale your image as well right so it is quite uh, simple uh, but yeah so that's how you can add images and uh, yeah I will keep it as one and I will add the uh, maybe section name that's saying images right so that's how you can add images and uh, you know usually these images doesn't add uh, in this bulk manner but it will be added as a figure right so figure is something uh, like you know labeled and more structured uh, graphic artifact in your document so it will be more easier to uh, you know uh, mention about references and maybe later on you can create a table of figures and things like that so let's uh, create such uh, image figure and uh, in order to do that uh, you can uh, use begin figure uh, command right so begin uh, figure and let's include this uh, graphics with the scale of one uh, and I will add uh, this second image right so sample image 2 and yeah so I can give a caption as well so let's say um, caption maybe let's say flower right and yeah now let's start to build it and now you can see that uh, that image has been added and the caption is also there but you can see that uh, the caption is centered and the image is not quite centered right so it is having this scale of one uh, so it is not quite uh, pretty right so instead of using this scale we can use width right and uh, this width can be anything uh, but uh, for now i will use the text width so text width stand for this uh, entire width right so if, if you look at this section and other stuff so this is the entire text width right so this amount of width will be added for this specific image so yeah currently it's having this size but if you compile it again you can see that now image has been grown larger right uh, but it has added to this uh, page so i will simply make this scale small otherwise it won't be pretty right yeah still we have it in a different page because of i think uh, this image is quite large right but uh, yeah that's okay so what i can do is i will later on will add some sort of paragraphs and things like that but uh, yeah so now you can see that the image is kind of large and the caption is also there and uh, yeah so let's let's uh, see how we can uh, reference this image within a specific paragraph as well right so in order to do that uh, yeah first i will make a section by saying maybe figure referencing right and i need uh, maybe maybe a paragraph and I will copy it and paste it over there. And let's say I wanted to reference this paragraph uh, by this image, right? So let's say this image uh, explains about this specific flower, right? So then uh, in your document, you have to mention, okay, uh, we are referring this figure, right? So then the reader can understand, okay, this specific uh, sentence or paragraph is described about this specific flower, right? So in order to reference those stuff, you can uh, type ref and you have to give the reference of this specific image. 
but currently there is no reference uh, related uh, metadata inside this figure so you have to add that as a label so label and i will use this fig dot uh, sample ing two. so fig basically stand for figure and sample image 2 stand for the uh, sample image 2 right so this is just a uh, name that uh, labeling this specific figure and you can use this label to reference that specific uh, image over there and now if you compile it again you can see that the paragraph is there but uh, yeah the reference is also there but it is uh, having these two question marks right and you can see that uh, the paragraph now has been separated and image has been added to the middle as well so that's happened because of the default styling of uh, of latex right but uh, yeah so uh, you can maybe prevent that by specifying this as h so that image now is added to the end of the uh, end of that specific paragraph right and you can make it as this h exactly as well so this is uh, <coughs> exclamation mark to specify the exact location where the text end but uh, yeah you can use those two properties inside your uh, figures and uh, yeah now you can see that our uh, figure has been referenced here as well by saying 4.1 but uh, it is not quite readable so instead of directly specifying this figure i will maybe maybe add more detail to it like let's say figure and let's enclose it using a bracket right then compile it again Right now you can see that the figure 4.5 is there, the images, the image is there, and the figure caption is there, and the reference is also correct. Right, uh, so that's how you can uh, use this stuff, and uh, yeah, now later on you can uh, check out other stylings and other configurations related to these figures and images but uh, for now i think uh, this stuff will be uh, enough and uh, yeah so thank you and we'll see you in the next video